A question of character. Yuko is a normal blue-haired girl doing incredibly normal blue-haired girl things. Like sleeping. But someone has stolen her phallus sword gem. Arise, Yuko. Yuko has the powers of a sleepy student. The power to run. The power to leap. The power to duck. Yuko must utilize these awesome powers to recover. The phallus sword. Jump off the building, Yuko. Yuko has no time for logistical plans. Planning. She has a phallus sword to catch. Arise, Yuko! Use your powers of flight. Just this once. Yuko now has the powers of phallus. The power to run. The power to leap. The power to duck as well. The power to slay. Away with your nighty. Fight in your yellow battle bikini. Your skirt of war. Glorious shoulder pads. Wristbands of justice. Cute red scarf of cuteness. But why is Yuko battle bikini ready? This is not her first rodeo. It is her third rodeo. Phallus Three. Yuko was summoned by Valia, Queen of Dreamland, to save Dreamland using the Valis sword and defeating the evil Rogles, as well as her best friend, Reiko, that was possessed and turned evil. And she did. Then she was summoned again by Reiko, her dead but now good best friend, to rescue the also good and former summoner, Valia, and to destroy the evil Magus, saving the good Dreamland again. And she did. And now she's back because of him. Flames. In a half dark world year, it shall succumb to the netherworld. Therefore, the human world and dreamland must be invaded out of necessity. And Glames wants to. But he is scared because he knows that Yugo kicks ass and has done it twice. However, dark world resident Cham went rogue. But not rogue enough. Yugo is able to save Cham, because she is the most powerful person in the human world, when she has the Valis Sword. Wait one second. Okay, now I'm ready. Die! The Valis Sword emits a powerful crescent energy wave, able to destroy fire, becoming more powerful within item box power-ups. The waves crush most enemies, or eventually will crush. Die! Eventually, Yugo slices on land, in the air, or boat. Never double-cross Yugo. Even if you are a boat dragon, Yugo hates boat dragons. Die! Yugo uses magic. Flame daggers. Yugo releases burning blades that simply cannot wait to kill. Ice cutter. Yugo discharges a freezing arced wave of frost, causing enemies to become immobile. Even bosses. Thunder sword. All enemies are affected by the thunder thunderous crash, and the ones that did not die will wish they did. Die! Yuko destroys disembodied eyeballs. Yuko is nimble. She must be, because the architecture of her hometown is incredibly thin and deadly as well. Yuko slides under obstacles and over non-obstacles. Yuko can slide on air. Outstanding! But Yuko is not invincible. Yuko may be hurt very annoyingly. Yuko lets out a high shriek and then rolls places you do not want her to roll. This part is so stupid! Therefore, being precise is key. Thankfully, her battle bikini and skirt allow for a generous amount of hit points. And if Yugo runs out of hit points, she can always obtain adorable parts, not the sickening graphic ones. These ones are prettier, but as powerful as Yugo is, she could always be more powerful. Nizetti, unleash the super bikini! Nizetti grants Yuko the full power of the Valis Sword. Glames realizes the Yuko glow up and is scared. Realizing this through his Lethus Sword, a fatter, girthier sword, shining sibling of the Valis Sword. Then Glames asks about his fate, but then says, Never mind, I don't want to know my fate. That is because Glames already knows his fate, which is fatality. Power. Excellent. Yuko defeats the weak as well as the power powerful with strikes from her blade, upgrading to unleash her full power, which is essentially the same as before. But still, 
Look at those shin guards. Defense. Moderate. Hugo is able to withstand most blows, losing a nominal amount of health. However, Hugo is not able to block. That means even obstacles like evil water can damage her. Yuko must avoid the drip. Agility. Excellent. Yuko is incredibly agile. Up jumping, down jumping, and sliding upon the surface of absolutely nothing. Grade B. Joined by Cham and Valna. The heroines will work together. Cham shall ring the bells of justice, truth, and bravery. Valna will use her brilliant magic. And Yuko will wear the bikini. But will be kicked. But Yuko is confident in her skill, warning brutish Dark World minions that vicious power is useless and knowing good will prevail. So we shall forever be safe as long as Yuko is here to protect us. So it is pretty sad that at the end she happily transports into the sky, disappears, and is never seen again for the rest of history. Yeah, next episode. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question. Quest. Oh, character. character. character.